Oh. The light. But the light must have blown out. Or someone pulled the master switch. And in that case, the murderer is still in the house. Mr. and Mrs. North. Drive, starring Richard Denning and Barbara Britton. Listen as Pam and Jerry solve the mystery. Dead Blue Innocent. The Jarvis home in Manhattan's East Sixties is little different from its expensive and fashionable neighbors, outwardly. But inside, behind the heavy, ornate door, there is a difference. It can't be seen or touched or accurately defined, but it's there, making Evelyn Jarvis a stranger in her own home. Yes, Edna. Uh, I'd like to sit up for a little while. Uh, yes. I'll take this chair. Uh, pull the chair too, Edna. Yes. Uh, has Mr. Jarvis telephoned? Uh, no, ma'am. Well, did he say whether or not he'd be home for dinner? No, not for me, he wouldn't. Oh. Are my nephew and niece dining at home? The dad, Mr. Phillips, is. Miss Elizabeth is just going to go out. Oh, 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 Thank you. Oh, my God, Miss. Oh, Thank you, Edna. Edna? Yes, ma'am? Tomorrow morning, will you move my things up to the second floor guest room? The guest room? I can't stand this ridiculous room any longer. Oh, he's ruffled. I can't imagine what Mr. Jarvis was thinking about when he had it redecorated. I wish he'd waited until I came home from the hospital. This is Miss Elizabeth's idea. It was a prize, you man. And Mr. Jarvis let her do the room the way she wants it. Well, then I'll let her have it. Maybe that's what she was trying on, man. Oh. What do you mean, Edna? Nothing. Edna, I want to know what you meant. All right, ma'am, I'll tell you. I don't like the way she's been acting. And how has she been acting? Like this was hers and Mr. Jarvis' house instead of yours and his. <laughs> well, you asked me and I told you. And if I was you, ma'am, I wouldn't trust. Hello, honey. Yes, I'm here. Oh, you're sitting out. How wonderful. I'll go sit for the brother's thing. Thank you, Edna, dear. Uh, where are you going this evening, Elizabeth? I'm having dinner at the club this night. Do you like my dress? Oh, it's very nice. Yes, uh, Uncle Ralph can uh, help me shop for it. Oh, Uncle Ralph has such wonderful taste. You know, it's hard for me to think of him as, a, as an uncle. I, well, I mean, but well, he's your age. Yeah. Well, he's older, as a matter of fact. Several years older. Oh, yes, I know, but, but it's not... Um, Uncle Ralph said the other day, age isn't important. It's how you feel about... about the person and... And friends. Oh, Aunt Evelyn, it's wonderful to have you home. Home? It's yes. It'll be lonesome here when Philip and you leave next week. Oh, but we're not. Didn't Uncle Ralph tell you? He asked me. Oh, Philip and me, that is, to stay on. The phone? It probably will. I'll answer it. Hello? Uncle Ralph. Oh, well, uh, 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 I'm sorry, Uncle Ralph, but I have not received. Could I take a message? Yes, uh, tell him I'm tied up in the office and I won't be on the way. All right, Uncle Ralph. Elizabeth. Yes, Aunt Evelyn? Oh, yes, Ralph. No, darling, it wasn't anyone. It was the wrong number. <laughs> Pam, we've been out every evening this week. My first year? And you should see my desk at the office. The work that's filed. Rather. I was hoping to do some of this home. Look, look, couldn't we make it some other evening? Tomorrow, say? No, or... dear. You simply have to see Evelyn. <laughs> we just saw her the other day in the hospital. Yes, but 
Well, I have a feeling something's wrong. Wrong? Well, Ellen's got to go. What's that? Look, a woman who's going to be an invalid the rest of her life is quite likely to sound that way. I don't mean that. Well, then what do you mean? I'm not sure, but, but the fact that Evelyn would call this early in the morning makes me think of Oh, all right, dear. It'd be easier to go than to argue. I'm mm, sorry if I disrupted your plans. Oh, don't worry about it, dear. Since I married you, disrupted plans are the one thing in life that I positively plan on. Morning, darling. Good morning. Mm. Jillian here. Did you expect it to be otherwise? Hmm? Uh, I, I don't understand. How were you last night? Where was I? I was working. So hard that you couldn't take a moment to call me. But I did. Didn't Elizabeth give you my mention? No. Oh, that's strange. I called about six and she said you were asleep. Hey, it's six. I wasn't asleep and Elizabeth knew it. But why would she say that if it, if it wasn't true? Are you implying that I'm not telling the truth? No, of course not. Well... Elizabeth says you've invited her to stay on with us, and, and full of you, of course. Yes. Why? What do you mean, why? I, I thought you'd like him to stay. He might have asked me. Well, now, look, Ella. He's been with us three months. I think that's quite long enough. But say, your niece and nephew, they want to run him around and then come just all right with me. But I don't think we could show them the door before they have somewhere else to go. I'm sure that's very charitable of you, Ralph, but still, I... Uncle Dow, telephone. Oh, thank you. I'll come back in before I go to the office, Evelyn. It's your office, Uncle Ralph. Tell them I'll call back, Evelyn. But, uh, Uncle Ralph. And then come to the living room. I want to talk to you. But, Uncle Ralph, I don't understand. I keep telling you. She's not. Um... Uncle Ralph. Well? Well, you don't think Aunt Evelyn's illness is, uh, well, uh, affected her mind, do you? Elizabeth. Oh, oh, I don't really think so either, but uh, I was just wondering. Well, the idea is fantastic. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Elizabeth, where's your brother? I don't know, Uncle Ralph. I, I think he went out. Why? I want to talk to him about your stay here. Our stay? Uh, well, what about it? I'd rather talk to Philip and you together. Are you sure he went out? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm positive. Well, I may be late again this evening. If you see Philip, tell him I want both of you to wake up for me. All right, Uncle Ralph. Now what? Philip. Where do we go from this? Well, Philip, I, I thought you were out. I thought no such thing. You were just instinctively postponing the inevitable. What do you mean? You're getting the truth a little bit here. What Ralph wants to talk to us about? Together. To show us the door. Hmm, well, it's bound to happen sooner or later. What are you doing? Taking the first small step of getting drunk. You drink too much, Philip. Not quite, but... That is a rather innocuous way. Compared to yours. Mine? Why don't you let Aunt Evelyn talk about yesterday evening? I... Why do you do such things? Why must you lie when there's nothing to be gained by lying? I didn't lie. Oh, I... stop it. I can't understand why you couldn't have left well enough alone. Or maybe you know where we're going and what we're going to do. But I don't. I ain't broke. Flat. As far as I know, so are you. We're not going anywhere. No? No. Ralph isn't going to clean this house. What makes you think he isn't? Because he's in love with me. He told you? Yes. When? That's none of your business. But he said... When? So? When did he tell you he was in love with you? He's just making me stand for me. He told me the other night, the night before I never got home from the hospital. What did he say? He said he loved me and wants to marry me just as soon as he can get rid of that evidence. Is this the truth? Yes, please. You are not to think. Sometimes you lie without knowing you're lying. Are you sure this isn't one of those things? No, you don't. Mm. I swear. All right. But 
by the police. It was just strong, but it put everything in a very different light. Okay, but it's beginning to look useless. Oh, wait. Is someone? About time. Yes? Good evening, we're Mr. and Mrs. North. Oh, yes. I'm Elizabeth Wayne. Oh, you're Evelyn Lee. Yes, and I'm terribly sorry I kept you waiting, but Edna, the maid, is out, and Aunt Evelyn asked me to give you a message. A message? Mm -hmm. But you're out of office to come, and I know, but she's not feeling well, and she asked me to apologize and tell you she'd telephone you tomorrow. But uh, Aunt Evelyn is terribly sorry. Oh, that's quite all right. But, Joy... Uh, just uh, tell your aunt that uh, we hope we can see her soon. Thank you, Miss Norris. I will. Good night. Uh, what? Miss, what? What? Well, so what? Oh, don't you think that was strange? Mm -hmm. Yes. But... Jerry, that girl was lying. Oh, Pam. He was, I'm sure, but there's well, there's something wrong in that house. Now, look, dear, you... Something very wrong. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, coming out of her What's that at the door? The door? Uh, what? Well, no one. It was Mr. and Mrs. Noah. Oh, no. No, Ed Evans. He sent them him away. Ed Evans. I don't know what you're up to, Elizabeth, but I won't stand for it. Not a minute longer. Where's your brother? I'm right here, Mr. Is, uh, Dr. Franklin Bond? Very. Philip, I want you and your sister to get out. Out of this room and out of this house. Oh, Evelyn. Just a minute, Evelyn. You should. Now get out, Philip. Get out and take your sister with you. But Ralph invited us to stay. And I'm telling you to leave. I don't know quite what this is all about, Adam. But we're waiting until Ralph gets home. You're not waiting for anything. You will never get to leave it here. Now, right now. Tonight. <laughs> Damn, dear, this is ridiculous. I don't care. Evelyn's niece will just shut the door in our face again. Not this time, she won't. But what if she was telling the truth? She wasn't. Darling, Evelyn got a so well, urgent on the phone this morning. She just wasn't the kind of office to come over and then not see us. We normally know, but she's ill now. Yes, here we are. Now, oh, Pam, let you... Boy, look. What? At the front door of the door, the clock is standing open. That's strange. Yes. Come on. I'm coming. Sorry, Jerry. The house is completely dark. Where's Evelyn's bedroom, do you know? Well, at the end of the hall, I think. Yeah. Let's take a look in there first. Here, this must be it. Yeah. Evelyn! Snap on the light. Oh, this should be really weird. down the hallway with us. Oh, Mrs. hit me on the head. Oh, Mrs. Norris, is, is that everyone all right? No, Miss Wells. He is dead. Dead? He's been trapped to death. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
Someone pulled his light. Can you make the door now? Or someone pulled the master switch. Master? Look, look, look. The front door. Again, someone just ran out the front door. The man. I saw him. Come on. Can you see him? Here he goes. He's getting into a cab. Look, Miss Wells, you stay here and wait for the police. Mrs. North and I are going to take our time and try to follow him. Yes, Ralph, I was here alone with her. Edna and Philip were out. And... No, I don't come here. Not right away. I want to talk to you first. I'll pick you up in front of your office in the car. Damn, that cab isn't the one we want. It looks like it. Exactly the same color. Yellow. Oh, Jerry, you're right. Look, look the cab we're following is empty. Oh, we must have lost the other one somewhere. <laughs> And then when Mr. and Mrs. North ran out after this man, I telephoned you. Mrs. It must have been a robber. He must have broken into Aunt Evelyn's room and she saw him or heard him and he... Thank you, darling, little bad guy. But, but Ralph, what am I going to say when we get back? Say? To the police. About, about us. What are you talking about? You and me and, and Aunt Evelyn. You know how the police are. Even though Aunt Evelyn was killed by a robber, they'll ask a lot of questions. And if they find you're in love with me, they love with me. They must be found out now. Not until now. Now, wait a minute, baby. What do you mean I'm in love with you? You... You told me you were. What? Oh, not in so many words. No, but... But you didn't have to. Now, Elizabeth, you... I knew. I knew all the time. Even before I never went to the hospital. And when you let me redecorate a room and... When you started taking me out and... Buying me clothes and... Elizabeth, you misunderstood. I... You... You mean you don't love me? Of course not. It's fantastic. How could you possibly... You do. You do. You love me. You love me and want to marry me. Oh, Elizabeth, this is ridiculous. I think you are going to marry me, Ralph. You are. You're out of your mind. Here we are, Ralph. And the police will be here and I'm going to tell them. Tell them what? There's nothing to tell. That we killed her. We? You and I. We killed Aunt Evelyn and tried to make it look as though a robber did it. Oh, Elizabeth. We had to do it because we're in love and Aunt Evelyn stood in our way. That's what I'll tell them. And they'll believe me. If they do, they'll send you to the electric chair. You do, Ralph. They'll send you, too. So I don't care. If you go to the electric chair with me, I don't care. Don't be a fool, Elizabeth. Close that door and listen to me. No! Close that door! No! Now, move. Listen to me, you little fool. I'm going to tell them. Oh, no, you're not. No! You no! You're not. No! No! Where are you taking me? I don't know where we're going. We're going to keep driving until you come to your senses. Get me out of this car. Now you listen to me, you little fool. Get me out. Good Lord, Elizabeth. What's the matter with you? Why are you doing this? Why did you let me think you were in love with me? Elizabeth, I tell you, I... You knew I loved you. You must have known. You're out of your mind. Stop this car. Stop this. Elizabeth, let go of the wheel. Go. Go. You crazy fool. You're going to hit that truck. Elizabeth, let go. This is Lieutenant Whitey. What? Are they badly hurt? I see. Where? The Uptown Emergency Hospital. Yes, I've got it. Yes, right away. What is it, Will? I am, Jerry. Uh, you too, Wells. Come on, I'll tell you on the way. I just hope we get there in time. Oh. 
No, I, I can't believe it. Well, Elizabeth can't be good. I've got to talk to her. It's my only chance, now, Lieutenant. She died five minutes after giving me a statement. And you killed her. You're just as responsible for her death as you are, Aunt Evelyn. Lieutenant, you, you, you can't believe this. Miss Wells' statement makes the picture pretty clear, Jarvis. A beautiful young girl comes into your home. You fall in love. No. So when you look at your wife, all you can see is an invalid, a burden you want to get rid of. No, I loved Evelyn. Elizabeth meant nothing to me. I had no idea that she was weaving these fantastic ideas of hers. I suppose that's why you and she were running away together, because she meant nothing to you. But we weren't, I tell you. We weren't. And what Miss Wells' statement says. I don't care what her statement says. She called me. She said she picked me up in front of my office and hung up before I could stop her. I wouldn't want to have to tell that story to a jury. But it's true. Still, yes, sir. Aren't you forgetting something first? The man that Pam and I saw running out of the Jarvis house. What about him, Jerry? He must have been the murderer, so. And the man who slugged Elizabeth. Well, what's your point, Jerry? We found Elizabeth unconscious. And believe me, that wasn't a fake or her imagination. And if Ralph and Elizabeth were in on the murder together, he wouldn't have had to knock her out. Well, Jerry's right. Well, I, I don't Another thing. Well, where is your office? You know where it is. The corner of Madison. Jerry, you're right. Ralph well, couldn't possibly have gotten his house on 51st Street to his office between the time we saw that man running out of the house and the time Elizabeth must have telephoned him. Well, then, and who was the man in the house? You know who it was, Wells. It was you. Look out, Bill. Oh, you're not speaking me. Oh, you're not speaking me. I'm very... I've got him, Bill. Let me go. Oh, now, just relax, man. Relax. Think you're going in. Work out. <laughs> Yeah. Don't bother to bring him to, Jerry. He's in no hurry to get where he's going. Are you tired, darling? Oh, a little. Come on. Why don't you put your head on my shoulder and take a nap? Oh, no, I'm not that tired. I should think you would be. We've been up all night. But for heaven's sake, that's nothing. My goodness, I used to go to parties and walk in the camp all night and then work the next day and go to another down that evening. Yes, dear, but uh, you were a little younger then. You made me sound like an old woman. I'll have you know that I'm just as young as I ever was. So am I. The person is just as old as the shoe. I feel fine. First, I... I feel a